Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? So today is going to be a little bit different of an episode. The podcast clip that we're going to do is on episode 470, but I'm going to show you guys with music production software why cheap speakers change what you hear in music, why it is so different when you hear out of a Bose or out of Beats or whatever it may be. I'm going to explain to you guys with a little bit of science, and I'm going to show you guys exactly why. So um, if you guys like content like this, please like, comment, subscribe. This should be a pretty interesting video. I want to do more videos teaching people things like this, but I want to stick with topics that we all typically like. So let me know if you guys like this video down below. Definitely like and continue to subscribe, guys, please. I appreciate you guys all. Let's get right into it. <laughs> this is what it's doing to my music listening experience as if this wasn't the case before the engineer has always been the most important guy and in the years recent years the engineer Kanye. has become more and more and more and more and more important like i'm talking about the people that maybe didn't know mm. sound now moving forward is all only on the engineer like and i'm talking about all the good engineers all of y'all are good uh. But these speakers now, we get to separate y'all. <laughs> Honestly. It's like that. Fan, yes. 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 Because fans don't true. know. You know, we joke you know, around about know luxury either. ears and luxury right. now, eyes on, and all that let, shit. Let me tell them. So we I'll the show car. you guys. Stay tuned because and you guys I are going to want to see this. Said, and it'll make so much sense to you guys. It's super we sensitive. I was like, yeah. fuck that. Put jail on by Kanye. And the second sound like the fucking fam. Piano. Everybody in the car was in the car. No, Everybody like he was doing it live. Like, yeah, the guitarist was oh, in the car. He was doing shit. it live. <laughs> like anything you were supposed to hear that maybe you didn't hear. Even some of the older songs I'm going back to, not just Kanye, but just songs that have come out recently. I'm playing some of those. These engineers is getting freaky with what they're doing out there. So much so that if you don't have one of those, your the final result of your music is affected. Absolutely. I can imagine. And we can tell. Now, I guess that's the point I'm driving home. This sounds stupid because I'm saying this in front of Parks, who's an engineer who's probably been singing this forever. Yeah. I'm trying to talk from the consumer. Remember when the fans started figuring out when sounds... And I'll help you guys understand from the consumer perspective in a sec. Scan dropped and spins <laughs> and first week and all that bullshit. Yeah. This is what's about to happen with all of these sounds. Well, you know what's funny? When, when um, Beats headphones first launched, that was their tagline. You're not hearing all the music. That's what he used to say on all the boxes. That was the that was their selling point. Like, yo, get these headphones. You can hear it. Beats aren't the best guys. Not even close. They're nowhere near the top rank. You'll never hear any producer actually talk about them. If you see them wear them, it's usually because they're somehow associated with Apple. They're somehow associated with Dre. Or they got them for free. But I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys some tea. The way the engineers intended for you to every hear the symbol, music. Every symbol, every cow. And, even, though, and even that, compared to what you could hear now, is different. But it was just like... A step up like now we get into once you start talking that lossless and all this other shit that's going on with the music bro you yeah. could hear some shit that i didn't even know it was other elements in the song this back <laughs> okay now let me give you guys some of the tea so um i don't know a lot of you guys probably don't know what this is i don't even know if you guys know what this looks like if you guys have ever seen software like this this is one of the big production tools that a lot of these producers use. It's called FL Studio, also called Fruity Loops. Um, you can create beats on here. Ooh, one second. I, I don't know why it's playing the SIBO. <laughs> you create beats on here. And it, it looks super complicated. It is complicated. It takes time. I've been learning it for a little while. I make things occasionally. On my intro, I make at the very beginning when I speak. That's um, a beat I made too. So, I'm going to show you just this. I made this super quick. I just threw on a sample and threw a couple drums on. So, okay. So, um, that's just the beat I made. It's the drums these are isolated drums that's the programming for them 
This is the little sample. And this is the sub bass. Now, um, don't go, guys, because I want to show you guys a, a reason why your headphones, the reason why I wear these headphones versus some of the other headphones that people wear. These are a a ATH MX50 X's. You can look them up. Um, they're like $150. They're a very good. Well, they're probably $100 now. They're standard music production headphones. This is a speaker that's cl plugged into an audio interface. That allows me to be able to use it. But um, if you see this dial here, you see it. That's just the sub bass by itself. These are the free. What this is. These are the frequencies that are isolated for each of these instruments. So the chords, the, the hat, the snare, the kick that I chose. These are the frequencies that you show in here. The low frequencies are the bass frequencies, obviously. The high frequencies are the higher pitched frequencies, the closed hats. Um, or things like that. If you get to the mid frequencies, those usually consist of chords, vocals, things like that. So when you're playing, let's play it all together. Watch what happens when I take down low frequencies. You'll notice things are being taken away from the sound if I remove frequencies. You see how the bass is going away? You see how the mid-range is going away? Now you can hear me a whole lot better because it's only the high-end frequencies. It's the same exact beat. See? It's pretty cool. Same thing in reverse. You can isolate just the bass again. See? So, why does this matter? Why does this matter when you're listening to music? When you're listening to speakers, why am I showing you this? So, speakers that you have. I have two speakers, um, two monitors up here. That's what they're called, monitors, speakers. Um, and when you have nicer speakers, nicer headphones, nicer whatever, the actual hardware that's inside of them is a whole lot better. And what that means is these frequencies, they are more isolated inside of the woofers and the speakers that come through your headsets, your... Um, your monitors, whatever it may be. That's why I have different headsets for different things. These headsets I'm wearing right now, music, studio headsets, the black ones that you guys see sometimes, these are made specifically like for gaming. These are Steel Series. I'll go into one day everything exactly what I use, how I use it, how to break it down, all that kind of stuff if you guys want, because I want to add an Amazon affiliate link, um, just letting you guys know in the future so you guys can actually see exactly what I'm using and Hopefully, maybe I can get like a little cut of that. It's not a lot. It's like 5% for electronics, but I think it would be helpful because I can point you in the direction of things that I think might be mid-tier, high-tier for just a normal consumer, and then low-tier also. So you can get into this stuff for a lot cheaper. When you have cheap headsets, when you have those $5 headphones, they don't have good frequencies. So that's why everything is all muddy. Everything is together. These numbers um 60 100 300 600 a thousand all the way up to like 10,000 12,000 those frequencies are the exact frequencies of the sound waves that come through so when you get into something like um when you listen to a lot of drake vocals not vocals but a lot of drake albums and stuff he has this kind of underwater effect they're taking out a lot of the low end and they're adding a lot of reverb that's just what is happening they they flip a lot of the frequencies in his music so it's important because when you listen to something like Donda, if you listen with cheap headphones, you won't, it, it's not something you're going to feel or notice. That's why he did it in the stadium. That's why people talk about listening to it on different types of equipment because it really does matter. So uh, personally, I think you should invest in getting a nice pair of headphones, nice pair of speakers if you guys really, really care about audio quality. I've always cared about the production and music. That's probably why I like Kanye West so much. But, um, it changes the way you hear everything. Because if, if I play this over again, I could increase the low end. I could also decrease the low end, you see? And what you'll see sometimes in music is they'll play with it. So like you'll see a verse only have something like this. Because if you do it like 
sound like this, you could hear me a lot better. So, if you guys like this kind of content for me, if you guys think that this was helpful and it taught you a lot, please let me know down below. Let your boy know in the comments. Um, I appreciate making content like this. I appreciate all the love you guys have been giving me. It's it's kind of it's it's incredible to be honest. Um, it's incredible to see that. Um, I love interacting with you guys. The hate comments, love comments. I love them. JP, Static Shock, Baby XO, all you guys. I appreciate you guys. And plenty more to come. Plenty more to talk about. Talk to you guys later. Peace.